Hi, and thanks for joining me again on another episode of MTV. Today we're going to be talking about grout and sealant stains, particularly mould in the bathroom. And you'll notice that you might be asking, well, what's that got to do with paint? Well, as you would know, those of you who subscribe to Monster and have seen our video when I was with Elle McPherson and Dane, we told you that we're the new way to buy DIY, so we're going beyond just paint. So you'll start to see some videos where we're talking about other questions that come up for DIYs. And this is just the start of a whole lot of new things that we'll be discussing. But today, it's all about grout and silicon stains. So let's start with those because they are bugger stains. Some of you will call them bastard stains. We know what they're like. Very, very difficult to deal with. And an ugly eyesore in the bathroom. So grout. If you are building from new, those of you are building from new, fortunate to be doing that, then you can get it right from the first go. Important, avoid cheap grouts, particularly in your wet areas in your bathrooms. You need a grout that is that has an anti-mold or bacteria inhibitor in it, very, very important. And also one that's got good resistance to water because that is actually, grouts are very absorbent and porous and that's how mold starts when it, uh, when it gets into the grout, particularly those lighter color grouts. For those of you that are dealing with an existing problem, well, most of us see stains in, in grouts and mold in grouts and that's a harder one to deal with. You need to pay attention to what you use. There are a number of uh, grout cleaning products on the market. There's a bit of conjecture and opinion on how effective they are and how safe they are to use, but I'm going to tell you a few things that you can use inside the home that might make life a little bit easier for you. So, firstly, you're going to need either a, an old toothbrush or a grout brush, but I'll tell you what works really well. Buy yourself an electric toothbrush because it'll be easier on the on the on the workforce and uh, and the the, the uh, scrubbing piece afterwards. But what works really well is forming a solution which involves making a paste using two parts of bicarb soda, one part of water. Mix that to make a paste, and uh, on gentle stains in grout, you apply that on using that toothbrush or brush and then after you've applied it on for about 10-15 minutes rinse it off with water. If you've got a stubborn grout stain substitute that water with vinegar, white vinegar, okay? Every household's probably got it and so you make your paste up using the bicarb soda two parts and one part vinegar. Use that and you'll find that that will actually be far more effective with those stubborn stains in grouts. However, those of you who have got natural stone, marble, granite, or stones that might be sensitive to staining, you need to be very, very careful here because that can actually impact the performance or the, the, uh, the stone in general. So either get a small section in an inconspicuous area and try that first, see how it goes. Otherwise, um, check with your tile merchant or a tile store to see whether that's going to be effective or not. Or if your tile needs to be sealed first, make sure it's sealed. So that's, that's a safe one. If you want, the other thing you can try is actually using hydrogen peroxide, which many of you might have in the home, and mix that with the baking soda, or I should call bicarb soda. And that is a little less acidic than uh, the vinegar. And what the acidic uh, effect has, it it's just takes that little bit of surface off the top of the grout, being a cement-based grout, and it then cleans it. Once you've cleaned it, rinse down and dry it with a, uh, a, a damp or a dry towel. Get the grout right, and after 24 hours, my suggestion is to seal it. Once you've gone to all that trouble to clean and scrub with your, with your electric toothbrush and got all those stains off the grout joints, if you seal it, you'll have less maintenance going forward from there, and that's gonna make a big, big help for you. Now, when we come to silicon sealants in bathrooms, particularly shower alcoves, they, when they get molded in them, it gets very, very ugly and it's an eyesore and it really puts you off and uh, the causes of that will basically, unfortunately, if I tell you the truth, if a cheap sealant is used and it's not a true silicon, it's likely to um, grow mold. And also the fact is you've always got a constant wet area where they are used, mold is attracted to grow there and if, if areas aren't dried and kept clean, but particularly dry, then that's gonna uh, be affected. So again, if you're building from new, those of you building new bathrooms, Buy silicon that's got an antifungal, anti-mold bacteria property to it and ensure that coloured silicons are going to perform as well as the ones that are either white or clear because they tend to have 
a far greater uh, different colouring property to them and better resistance to mould. But just check with the brand you're buying that it has that mould inhibitor in it. That's, that's critical. So, those of you that are dealing with mouldy silicon in the shower alcoves for existing homes, there's two ways I'm going to show you how you can deal with it. The first way is you can get yourself some standard uh, bleach gel that's common for, for bathrooms and you get yourself a bit of toilet paper. And what you do with the toilet paper or a serviette is you might pretend you're rolling a cigar but you actually just twist it just so you have that sort of shape that you're forming. You get the gel and you pour it on the line of the uh, stain on the, on the silicon whether that be a horizontal or vertical and then while that gel sits on the wall or along that stain you then bed that into the gel leave it there to sit for 12 hours so probably good to do it overnight come back the next day and just slowly remove that and you'll see that the silicon is clean give it a try and let me know if it doesn't work for you I want to hear about it because I'll, I'll lodge a complaint as well at my house but it actually works there's a natural way to do it as well if you want and for those who don't want to be using bleach, there's a safer way. You can form your own cleaner with, and this one might need a bit more uh, arm wrestle, but you get yourself a spray bottle. You might have an old window bottle at home, but you take the, the spray nozzle out and you fill with white vinegar, two thirds of the bottle with vinegar. And then you put in a, a two teaspoons of bicarb soda into there and you'll see it froth or fizz a little bit. It's all safe, let that happen. Once it stops frizzing, put your spray piece back in. Spray that over the mouldy silicon. And then with a brush, an old toothbrush, give it a scrub and you'll foam it up a little bit more and work that into the, uh, over the stain. Then what you need to do is rinse down with hot water. What that does, it actually kills the spores of the mould naturally. Okay, And it's important that you uh, kill them because if you kill the spores that stops it from spreading and growing further. Once that's done, you then rinse the whole shower alcove you just cleaned with hot water, really hot water, because that just gets rid of any excess spores that might be around that you've cleaned up. Then dry it off with a towel. Dry the area clean so they can dry, put a fan on, keep the window open in the bathroom, let it dry out, and you've got clean silicon. From there, you just need to maintain it, which is a challenge, I understand that, but keeping the area dry is the key to it. If you've got mould that is under the silicon, unfortunately, the only solution to that one is you need to remove the silicon, and that is a bastard of an exercise, but hopefully your situation is not that bad. So look, there are a couple quick, simple ways of dealing with real problem stains in the wood area, um, and they do make a big difference. Give them a try. Love to hear your stories if they're successful or not. I'm sure they will be successful. And I'm going to leave you now with an introduction to the new member of our family. Meet Lizzie. Very knowledgeable dog. She knows exactly what she's talking about. So all your questions fire at me. I'll help answer them. See you next time.